Hello everybody, I hope you've had a great start to your week. Today I thought, or tonight, it's going into the evening here, I thought it would be fun to discuss fluid condensers. So fluid condensers, uh, I'm sure most people at least have an idea of what they are and what they're used for. So rather than getting into all that, I thought it would be fun to compare different recipes and I have three different books pulled out for us to look at. So this first book, as you know, I just recently read and it's Gateways Through Stone and Circle. And um, I'm going to look at the recipe recommended here. Ingredients for Lunar Conductive Fluid Condenser based on the Veritable Key of Solomon. So you can see it has a two ounce base of white sandalwood powder, an ounce of orris root and myrrh in equal parts, a half ounce of jasmine flowers, one dried skin of a frog. Now that's where I was like, uh, hmm. <laughs> I'm not sure I'm feeling that. A small pinch of refined camphor, a half ounce of white poppy seeds, small amounts of moonstone and silver dust shavings one dram of virgin olive oil a liter of distilled stream or rainwater and two drams wood or isopropyl alcohol so okay there we have um, one look at a recipe so then I thought it would be fun to compare it with a couple of others. This book here is How to Make and Use a Magic Mirror by Donald Tyson. Now this is a, <clears throat> excuse me, a really good book. It came out, I think, 1990. Let me see if I can find the copyright date. Real quick, just to check that. Yeah, there we go, 1990. It's a Llewellyn book. Um, I don't think there are any new copies being made, but you, I think you can still get older copies off of Amazon. So, if we look in this book, um, first he covers natural fluid condensers. And here he has a fluid condenser recipe with readily obtainable materials. One part fine silver fillings or filings. <laughs> one part powdered rock crystal or amethyst or beryl. One part powdered salt. One part dried willow leaves. One part dried peony or white rose. Peony leaves or white rose. One part dried toadstool, one part powdered dried moss, one part powdered oyster shell or clam shell, one part finely cut cat hair. And then, um, let's see, he says, the following materials may be substituted. So these are all in one part, so I'm not going to keep repeating that. Powdered white egg shell, powdered fish bone or scales, fine filings of staghorn, finely cut crow feather or seabird or waterfowl feather, powdered crab shell or lobster shell, fine filings of cow bone, spider web, powdered wasp nest, powdered silver dogwood leaves. So that's he goes into a symbolic fluid condenser, which I'm not going to go into that right now. If anybody wants to get deeper into fluid condensers, let me know. I just thought it'd be fun to go over some basic recipes tonight. <clears throat> okay, um, this book is Franz Bardon's Initiation into Hermetics. This book was recommended, this author was recommended to me by Vicious Lady, and I 
will appreciate that as well as all other books she's ever recommended because she has good good book listings. Um, this book is much more extensive. And this is the only one out of the three that mentions um, most fluid condensers you'll hear about mention including sexual fluids and your blood. And this book does as well. So here we have um, the preparation of a simple fluid condenser. One thing this book um, does recommend in all of its recipes is some form of gold. Um, and here are some other ingredients. Angelica root, sage leaves, linden flowers, cucumber peel or pumpkin seeds, acacia blossoms or leaves, chamomile flowers, lily flowers, leaves or roots, cinnamon flower or cinnamon bark, stinging nettle leaves, peppermint leaves, poplar leaves, violet flowers or leaves or wild pansy, willow leaves or willow bark, tobacco, fresh, green, or dried. So there you can see between the three books quite a variety of ingredients. Um, and if you compare the different recipes and this book here uh, covers three different types of condensers. Um, let's see. Like here you'll see the preparation of a solid fluid condenser. He talks about different condensers for diff working with different elements. So this book um, goes into much more. This book also goes into preparation of magic mirrors. But um, almost all the magic mirrors call for some sort of fluid condenser. I haven't seen too many videos of it on YouTube. So, although I'm not going to share my particular piece that I'm working on, I thought this would be a cool topic just to discuss. If anybody would like to get more into it, or if they have anything to contribute, or any observations or comments, I just would be interested in hearing that. And that's it. I didn't want to make it too long of a video. I just thought this would be a fun topic, and I'd be interested to see what kind of um, thoughts people may have on the topic. Okay, well, as always, I wish everybody a beautiful evening or a beautiful day, whatever time you're watching this. And as always, many bright blessings. Thank you for watching. Bye.